Oh, YouTube, Ronan Kazi, a little different division play with a low level character. So, as a uh, part of my thing to give you different variety, varied, not variety, I guess variety and varied content, um, I started a character on Division and I'm running through. So, right now I'm trying to, you know, get my base up. The dynamics are similar, but they're different enough that it feels like a different game than the Division 2. Right now I have a shitty low weapon, so my accuracy is a lot worse. Uh, you can kind of feel the difference between, you know, end game Division 2 and beginning Division. Like, it's been a long while since I've been a crappy character where the guns are constantly moving. I have an AK-47. I think I get a G36 at the end of this, which I would have much preferred in the beginning. I remember G36 almost was like the go-to normal gun in the Division. It was so popular that I just wouldn't use it. Oh, and by the way, that's the funnest thing in Division is killing cleaners by popping their tanks. It's fun in Division 2 as well. My favorite thing to do is kind of the double tap where I get their tank and before it blows up, <clears throat> I kill them with a headshot and then their body gets blown up to smithereens. Just my kind of personal favorite. I don't keep count of it, but I had started this mission before, but two YouTubers, Ultimate Shield and Sloth Moods had invited me to play Destiny 2, so I had to cut the mission short. I was a little bit further than this, so I'm back doing this again. Uh, when you're sitting in the Division lobby getting ready to get in, the music's great. I just remember the ambiance is really great. It's winter here in Michigan, so there's not snow today, but... Uh, I almost wish that the weather, like in Washington, it wouldn't stay, in Division 2, it wouldn't stay perpetually, you know, June or July or whatever it is. And the same thing here uh, with the Division 1, a bit of nice to have New York. Double check the map here in New York, and it's more higher up, you know, the map in uh, Division 2 is down south. I remember when I was playing the Division 1, or just the Division, I was always hoping they'd expand it down. I was uh, stationed in New York for a while on Governor's Island, which was a blast. Uh, it was living in New York City, but every night you'd go home to an island that you had guards and they had to take a ferry to get there. So it was a, it was a great experience. Love New York City. It's fantastic. Manhattan's awesome. The boroughs are awesome. Uh, it's, a, <clears throat> it's a really wonderful place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gosh, will this never go away? Uh, my mouse is a little jumpy still. I think I was playing this still on the Steam Deck at this point. I since have bought a one terabyte USB-C drive that you know, I can transfer things a lot faster. I was plugging it into a dongle, then plugging a thumb drive into the dongle, and it was transferring like, at most, maybe it would get to like 60, maybe 70. And now it's like 500, so it, transferring the videos just seems to be a problem. I could probably run other games on my laptop and put more games just on there. So I have bigger plans for that. I think I've told you guys I'm looking to get a new PC, and so now I'm vacillating. The one I want, the one I want to do, the one I want is probably not the best thing for me. So this is a, a, a great thing. If you think... Someday when I grow up, I'm going to have it all figured out. I, as old as I am, I still don't have it figured out. I still uh, sometimes won't take the right or the safe choice, I guess. And I want what I want. Just when you get older, the mistakes are more costly. Or in the terms of relationships, those mistakes, your heart is so pliable when you're young, you can... Uh, you know, imagine that you're younger than 20, you're going to break up with people. It feels horrible, but your heart is so resilient. It feels like nothing. Here's foreshadowing. This was one of the worst. It, it's a good mechanic in this game, but it was one of the worst things. And I'll tell you when it happens. I dreaded this part. I'm on story mode, so this is okay. And this was one of those sections where you started 
I mean, think of the foreshadowing to what happened across the world, you know, in 2020. So the, the, that's why the division, I think, so, is, is, it was a pretty good scenario. But we're talking about resiliency of your heart and your feelings. As you get older, you might make less mistakes because the mistakes are more costly and they hurt and you have less time to recover from them. So there's kind of a, you know, where does it even out? I think between 35 and 45. And that's why a lot of people maybe have their midlife crisis then because you're like, I don't have to put up with this shit. You know, I'm successful enough that I can do something else. And that's not really the best attitude. It's not the best attitude for your children either. So there's a, there's a whole big thing. Not everyone has children, but if you have children, you know, you have this dynamic between their happiness and their growth. And then when do you switch back to you uh, growing? Uh, not now, but sometime I'll share a story of my situation. And it's, uh, it's bittersweet how it uh, worked out. But it's no different than everyone else's story. I'm not going to tell you I have a, a uh, monopoly on tragedy, pain, good things, bad things. You know, I have the same life that everyone else has. Uh, you only get dealt the struggles you can deal with, right? Or or you don't deal with them. And that's sometimes why we play games is to escape those things. And sometimes the stories are good. That's Caesar. He got a new toy today, so he's kind of happy, but I will squirt you, boy. Don't do it. Sometimes I pause over in games because I'm going to use that for thumbnails, so I want to get good pictures of it. So back into it. Division is a great game. And uh, trying to get your... The difference in the skills are you couldn't get the skills. You know, as you get each wing up, then you can get different skills. So whereas in the Division 2, I have a turret immediately. I don't have a turret yet, so I'm stuck with... I love the pulse in Division 1. It's a critical hit and critical hit damage. I used to be a shield build. Sometimes I like doing that, but I'm not set for any of that right now because I'm just level 5. Mods work a little bit different. So it's an interesting game. And it's really worthwhile. If you haven't played The Division, I 100% I recommend it. it. The story's fantastic. If you can get it on sale, it's cheap. Uh, one of my last videos, uh, I think it was called Love Potion Number 9. I know, okay. So why do I name some of these videos what I do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want the title to be, this is the Division Manhunt for Bantam Series 6732. I'm not really interested in that. Might be something when I'm playing the game. Something I notice about the game. Uh, but in Love Potion number 9, it's the last campaign of the Lightfall Destiny. And I play with two YouTubers, Ultimate Shield and Sloth Moods. This is more foreshadowing that you're seeing right now. And it was really good. Uh, I like getting the campaign over. And I'm feeling more and more comfortable in the game. And so, I guess the thing is I had played it before and I got to a certain level and I stopped. And now, uh, I, Sloth has been really great. Ultimate's been, Ultimate's taught me a lot of stuff. They're two really great people. They have really great perspectives on things. And that's probably like other people in your life. We were talking about Super Slanky Lanky. Sorry to call you out, but they're like, well, when is he coming to play? And I was like, I don't know when he's coming to play. And so uh, I will tell you this for me. I'm going to speak for me and not for anyone else. If you're on a PC and you want to play the division with me, I would love to play the division with you. And I would love to, if you have a build, I'd love to see your build. I'd love to run with you. Whatever I'd have to do to uh, make the group successful, I would. If something like Destiny or uh, some other games that we, Destiny 2 or other games we can cross-play, please hit me up uh, and I, will, I would love to 
play in Destiny with you. I'd love for us to all be in some kind of thing where we could all play. I'd love to make content with you. Uh, I think if you look back through some of the videos when I run with guilds, I don't know these people and I run with them, but I try to give them some shine because I appreciate running with them. And I think that's kind of cool when you get in a guild and someone makes a video about you running in a guild and doing a legendary. I think that's kind of cool. Why am I called Ronin Kazi? Well, I'm going <laughs> to... Someone teased me that I, I dox myself without revealing it. If I ever get to a thousand subs, I will tell you why. And I'll tell you that story. And it's a wonderful story how I got my name. Or my gamer tag. Why didn't I just use my real name? I didn't want to at first. I didn't know if what I was doing was okay. If someone knew who I was now and they saw, they'd be like, well, fuck, he's got 170 videos. He plays games a lot. He does some reviews. They probably say he's a lot more mild-mannered. Uh, I, if I do get the one computer I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to really light some people up on reviews. Uh, in gaming, it's a very personal thing. People game for a lot of different reasons. And uh, the point isn't just to win, right? So people play games for a lot of different reasons. People do everything for a lot of different reasons. But when you're doing reviews on things and you're giving people your opinion about things and they might make purchases by that, I I'm going to probably call some people out. So if I get this computer that I'm thinking about getting, then I would probably have a very, it would be probably a very salty uh, kind of review of reviews of the review. In gaming, I try not to do that because uh, everyone has a unique style. Some people uh, have temperaments probably closer to mine and they probably take builds that I take. The reason I enjoy playing with Sloth Mood and uh, Ultimate Shield is because they're different than me. And I think I mentioned this in one of those videos, we play different characters. Uh, I don't want to be a healer. I don't want to be, I'm not really a paladin. You know, so I, I'm, let's talk about WoW. I'm not a paladin, I'm a shaman. I kind of like doing a little more damage. I like to be able to heal, but I like to do some damage too. I'm like that in between. And ultimate shield is when I think of a paladin, someone that's good, someone that's righteous, someone that's worrying for his teammates. Man, that guy just sounds like paladin. In sloth mood is a DPS guy. So I don't know if it'd be a hunter not really a mage. It'd be more like a hunter in uh, World of Warcraft, but I don't think he'd be in that realm. He, he plays hunter in Destiny, and he's red builds. I mean, he he's he's at very informative, always sharing content. It's wonderful playing. So if you get a chance, if you're on Xbox, please. <laughs> he's gonna hate me. Please look up Sloth Moods and please play with him on Xbox. And if you're on a PlayStation, please look up Ultimate Shield and play with him. Those two are fantastic. Great people to run with. And if they aren't in Division, let me know enough. <laughs> I'm teasing. No, I tease too much. This is the part I hate. So this is the part I hate about this mission. Carrying, doing this perp walk with this stupid uh, fuse box. And it's over and over. Like you get three different spawns in this and it's really hard. And uh, it sucked in a four man because one would do it and you'd have to count on your people and there's just kind of ads constantly. And you see eventually I got to put up the shield and then I got to walk back and finally get him. So that part in the subway morgue is tough. Other than that, this is a relatively easy mission. You're gonna open the electronics wing of your, the technical wing of your base. And it really felt like you were accomplishing something. Division two, I don't know, cause I did it before. It didn't have the same feel. I know that you helped What's-Her-Face get the 
theater back up and it just didn't have the same feeling because you could already have your skills and everything. I'm not saying the Division Two isn't wonderful. I guys spent a lot of time in spent a lot of time in Division One. And uh, let's talk about one other thing: sequels. So, I started playing Azrin's Call One, and I really liked that game. And that was one of those traditional, you know, every kill, every bow and arrow raised your thing. So you, you got set like 600 points, and you could put them into each thing, and. There's all kind of stuff. And Azrin's Call 2 came out. It wasn't Azrin's Call 1, so everyone hated it. But I loved that game. That was the greatest game of all time for an MMO. Because I was a tomb rock, and I could play the drums. And the drums uh, would do damage to people. So I could do spells and lightning and all kinds of stuff. It was fucking awesome. Um, and that game died... And we all went to WoW, and I was in a guild back then, and then everything dissipated. People were just, I'm going to say it, cunts about everything. Sorry, I'm using it in the British way, shouldn't use it at all. Apologize, they were just really babies about everything. So this part gets a little tricky here in a second. It's kind of easy at first. Normally, I tell you about this in almost every game. You don't have to set up where you come into the map. I know the first spawn's going to be on this left side. But really, if you could walk around the area and see where all the doors are. No, I, the spawn's down there, I think, to my right. The second spawn's going to be up here on my left. And so... I don't know if the Division 1, the Division 2, Division 1 had its problems. The Division 2 certainly has its problems. It's never been a really stable game, which is crazy to me. And some of the concepts seemed, uh, you know, like they had a ninja backpack that let you use it as a wild card. That I had a lot of builds where I would be like... Roxy, for the love of everything, you're going to get squirted. Sorry. That was a key to a lot of my builds. And I played a lot of greens back then. I did some yellows, but maybe when, if I ever get a ninja backpack, I'll do some builds. Those are interesting. But you can guarantee it's going to be some type of chassis build where you have, uh, well, I'll just say this last part. When you raise your expertise, it costs so much to raise your expertise up to 15, 16, that you are gonna wanna use that armor a lot. Getting to 10 is really nothing. So up until this point, it's not that hard. I wanna thank everyone for subscribing, commenting. Let me tell you about some of the commenters. So Grin is one of the people that comments and he's fantastic. Let's see who else. Just a gamer that I've mentioned before. Grin underscore AID is a really great person. Quantum Psychosis has been good. Old Hippie, of course, and Ambiotic Synapse. Ambiotic Synapse, Old Hippie, Quantum Psychosis, and Grin AID have been really on fire in the comments. Thank you guys. Or women. Guys or gals. Men or women. Boys or girls. Or whatever. They, them, whatever you guys are. Thank you for commenting. I appreciate it. This guy was kind of hard. And so this was one of the first times, right? I'm level five and I'm like, holy crap. And not having a turret, right? If I had a turret. So 
Obviously, the first one you do, you unlock the medical wing, you do the Madison Square Garden arena thing, because that's easy to do. It was still kind of hard. And then the next one's going to be Lincoln Tunnel. And that's, uh, that's okay, but that helps if you have a turret also. So I want to thank everyone. Thank you for commenting. Um, there's going to come a point where, you know, I, I'll try to do some of the, the suggestions in the video. Uh, yesterday, someone said I should use tech support and capacitor. Yes, of course, in a heroic, I don't have to have the same build. And sometimes I forget to do that. Because it's just adding a piece. And what I'm going to try to do eventually here in the Division 2, probably this weekend, I'm going to try to show you all my four builds and do a proper build video. So here's the builds I play. You can't help me with that, so might as well get your ass topside. I'll follow you when I'm done. And that's all she wrote. So I appreciate everyone. Thanks again for all the help on the channel. Uh, sharing with the community, which is really important because I think it helps people out. This is Ronan Kazi. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Agents, looks like the power grid is a lot more stable. Thanks to you, we're back.